Well, here at home, a Memorial Day ceremony was held at the Los Angeles National Cemetery in Westwood. As KCAL9's Dave Lopez shows us, Academy Award winning actor John Voight was the master of ceremonies. Memorial Day brought tens of thousands of visitors to Orange County beaches alone. KCAL9 Orange County reporter Michelle Geely tells us while it was fun in the sun for most beachgoers, lifeguards were sure kept busy. A loving grandfather is dead. His family left grieving. He was killed in a crash involving a Fontana police car. And tonight, his family wants to know what exactly happened. KCAL9's Louisa Ha has their story. A salute to fallen heroes drew at least 1,000 people to Riverside National Cemetery today. KCAL9 Inland Empire reporter Greg Mills reports the annual event featured a salute from a motorcycle brigade. Tonight, it's the B versus the Photog. Singer Justin Bieber is under investigation after being accused of battery in a clash with a paparazzi. Investigators a new record this holiday. Gas prices in much of the Southland are the highest they've ever been on a Memorial Day. Analysts blame the closing of refineries for maintenance. As KCAL9's Christy Fajardo reports, whatever the reason, the prices have drivers comparison shopping. Broadcast Center returns uh, after the break with Susie Suh. Welcome to KCAM on News at 9.30. I'm Susie Salina and Sylvia are off tonight. Our top story here at 9.30, a major scandal linked to the Pope. His personal butler is charged with leaking secret documents from the Vatican. As Alan Pizzi shows us, the fallout has just begun. A solemn Memorial Day ceremony attended by Republican presidential candidate Mitt Romney and Senator John McCain was interrupted by a heckler in San Diego. While the nation honors our war dead, there are two Army reservists who are suing for the right to fight. As KCAL9's Chris Lawrence reports, they've launched a lawsuit against the Pentagon for excluding women from combat. And that was KCAL9's Chris Lawrence reporting. The federal government has 60 days to respond to the lawsuit. Most likely, attorneys will argue the case has no merit and will probably ask the judge to throw it out. Palmdale Mayor Jim Ledford is in good condition tonight and resting comfortably after suffering a heart attack last night. Well, the boys in blue minus Matt Kemp really proving they can stand on their own. Jim Hill here now with sports. Jim? Susan, it's really amazing what the Dodgers <laughs> have done with all of the injuries they've had yeah. throughout the course of the season. And that was Ryan Kruger reporting. A total of eight wounded warriors were invited to the weekend fishing tournament, and they say they've already been invited back to next year's event. Good evening, I'm Rob Schmidt. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us. I'm Susie So Rick and Sharon have the night off. Tonight, family members are trying to cope with a horrific car crash that killed a mother and her two daughters. Police say a drunk driver plowed into their SUV in Willowbrook. KCAL Lines' Edward Lawrence is live at the set. Thank you very much for that. In the meantime, Kim Kardashian is blasting British Airways. Kardashian is accusing airline staff of rifling through her luggage and stealing things. Kardashian described the items as sentimental and not replaceable, but did not say what they were. British Airways told the London Daily Mail they are aware of the complaint and are now investigating it. Well, this could be the last Memorial Day for a popular holiday tradition at two Orange County beaches. As KCAL 9 Orange County reporter Stacy Butler tells us, both Newport Beach and Corona Del Mar are pushing to get rid of fire pits. Well, on this Memorial Day, President Obama marked the 50th anniversary of the start of the Vietnam War. So for attending a ceremony, a celebration, or a barbecue, it was just the perfect day today. Beautiful outside, yeah. nice and warm and sunny. Yeah, Great really. Memorial Day out there. Mm -hmm.